हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीबडी सो इन द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द यूरिन एनालिसिस आई विल बी कवरिंग द ओनली द वाइबा क्वेश्चन फॉर यूरिन माइक्रोस्कोपी नाउ इन द एग्जाम्स ऑफ अंडर ग्रेजुएट्स जनरली दे गिव द यूरिन सैम्पल टू परफॉर्म द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल एग्जामिनेशन बट देर आर सम क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्ट इन द वाइबा एंड दीज आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द यूरिन माइक्रोस्कोपी सो आई शेल बी कवरिंग ओनली दोज क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज how do we prepare a urine sample for microscopic examination so what we do we take the urine in our test tube then we centrifuge the sample uh, at 1500 uh, rpm for a duration of 5 minutes after that we uh, discard the supernatant and then we take the sediment uh, on a glass slide and cover it with a cover slip so this is how we prepare the urine drop for माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द द इम्पॉर्टेंट सेटिंग्स विच हैव टू बी डन टू कंडक्ट द माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ यूरिन सो वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिड्यूस द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट सेकेंडली वी ब्रिंक द कंडेंसर डाउन एंड थर्डली वैन वी एग्जामिन द यूरिन सैम्पल अंडर माइक्रोस्कोपी फर्स्ट वी एग्जामिन अंडर द लो पार एंड देन वी Uh, go to the high power so next question is what all will be seen in the microscopy in a urine examination so first of all we can see the cells cells can either be wbcs rbcs or epithelial cells then cast it can be cellular cast inclusion cast like granular cast rbc cast wbc cast then cast matrix like the hyaline cast then crystals in alkaline urine we can find crystals like triple phosphate in acidic urine we can find crystals like uric acid crystals calcium oxalate crystals and lastly we can also find organisms like fungi bacteria certain parasites like uh, trichomonas or microfilaria in the urine or we can also find tumor cells but for tumor cells for a better morphology usually urine cytology is done so these are the various cells cast crystals that can be seen in the urine microscopy now next question uh, what is the normal range for rbcs in the microscopy so up to 2 rbcs per high power field is normal and if it is more than equal to 3 rbc per high power field then it is abnormal so you should remember this very important what are dysmorphic rbcs and what is their significance so whenever the rbcs they are speculated distorted in morphology then they are known as the dysmorphic rbcs because they have a distorted morphology and it signifies signifies that the origin of the hematuria it is glomerular so the uh, common cause can be glomerular nephritis and in that we can find dysmorphic rbcs so in this picture you can see these are the speculated uh, rbcs having distorted morphology next question is what can rbcs be confused with in microscopy so we know that uh, the rbcs they are they look like round spherical structures under microscopy and in the differential diagnosis Uh, we can confuse them with the air bubbles but the air bubbles will be of variable sizes and when we remove the cover slip and apply again then they will be gone secondly yeast cells so yeast cells can also be confused with the rbc uh, so we can add glacial acetic acid to the yeast sample and that will lyse the rbcs but that will not lyse the yeast so this is how we can differentiate the yeast cells from the rbcs so this is commonly asked in the viva next question what is the normal range of wbcs in the urine microscopy so it is less than 5 wbcs per high power field which is normal and if we get more than 5 wbcs then it signifies signifies presence of a urinary tract infection but uh, the tests which are more specific for uti are the uh, urine culture and gram staining also other tests that can be done 
for the diagnosis of UTI is the leukocyte esterase test and the nitrite test. Now the next question is what is pyuria? So presence of the pus cells more than 5 per HPF uh, they are this is called pyuria and pus cells are nothing but they are degenerated WPCs. Now for pus cells we can also apply stain uh, crystal violet safranin if we are finding it difficult to identify the pus cells we can use this stain next question what are the various epithelial cells which can be seen in the urine microscopy so first are the squamous epithelial cells which can originate from the uh, membranous urethra and it can be a part of the uh, contamination from the vagina in case of females then transitional epithelial cells which have got their origin in the urinary bladder then renal tubular epithelial cells which are uh, origin of renal tubules and they can be confused with the WBCs but the WBCs that is neutrophils which are commonly seen in the urine microscopy they have got a lobated nucleus while the renal tubular epithelial cell they have got a round nucleus uh, further we can also apply the stain to get a clearer morphology so this is how uh, the squamous cell looks like it is large polygonal cell with a central nucleus then the transitional cell and lastly the renal tubular epithelial cell so this is smallest in size next question what are oval fat bodies so oval fat bodies they are nothing but they are the degenerated tubular epithelial cells which are filled with fat droplets and they can be seen in nephrotic syndrome and in the previous lecture of nephrotic syndrome I have explained that in detail so there is lipiduria which they are also taken up by the renal tubular epithelial cells and the tubular epithelial cells which are filled with these fat droplets they are known as the oval fat bodies and when we see these oval fat bodies through the polarizing microscopy we get a Maltese cross sign again this is a important MCQ and viva question next question what are hyaline cast again this is very commonly asked so hyaline cast they are the mucoproteins which are secreted by the renal tubules so uh, when the renal tubules they secrete these proteins and these proteins they come in the tubules and they take their shape so that is why these cast they are having a cylindrical shape because they are secreted by the tubular epithelial cells and in the tubules they assume this cylindrical shape now uh, normal count for the hyaline cast it is 0 to 2 hyaline cast per low power field this is normal and these mycoproteins they are also known as tam horsefall proteins you should remember this name uh, commonly asked and in which conditions these hyaline cars they are increased in the urine they can be increased in various renal diseases in condition of dehydration in fever congestive heart failure diuretic therapy now next question in which condition we will see the red cell cast so it can be seen in acute glomerular nephritis IgA nephropathy and lupus nephritis when are vexi cast seen so they will be seen in end stage renal disease uh, or chronic renal failure so these are the vexi cast and the question when is the fatty cast seen in the urine so it is seen in the nephrotic syndrome where lipid urea is also seen next question uh, in which condition is the wbc cast seen the wbc cast are seen in conditions of acute pyelonephritis and acute glomerulonephritis so this is our WBC cast you see this is the cast and these are the WBCs which are attached to this cast you can see the granular appearance of the cytoplasm now next uh, some questions they are asked regarding the crystals in urine so they ask what are the crystals which can be seen in the alkaline urine so you have to remember first is triple phosphate most important and second is the amorphous phosphates 
third is calcium carbonate and fourth is ammonium pyrite so so triple phosphates they are composed of calcium ammonium and magnesium and along with that there is phosphate so they are called triple phosphate and the appearance of the triple phosphate is like a coffin lid appearance next are the amorphous phosphates so i have told you earlier in the examination for protein in the urine that mm, the amorphous phosphates they can get precipitated in a alkaline urine so when we do the test for protein the heat acidic test for protein then we initially add the acetic acid to the urine sample to remove the amorphous phosphates next are the calcium carbonate crystals and ammonium pyrite crystals which have got a characteristic thorn apple appearance so these are the ammonium pyrite crystals and they have got the appearance of the thorn apples this is also asked in viva and mcq the next question is name the crystals which can be seen in the acidic urine so there are uric acid crystals amorphous urates and calcium oxalate um the uric acid crystals they uh, get removed on heating then uh, uh, calcium oxalate crystals they have got a characteristic envelope shape also they can also be of uh, dumbbell shape or oval shape but commonly they are the en they are envelope shaped so again this is asked in the exam so these were the uh, important question in microscopy of urine uh, and these are my references and if any question you want to ask you can type in the comment section thank you very much